What's up, YouTube? mco 40 here, Blair Hunter and Jonathan Moore, giving you guys the one, the only, the anime character that is the best, Alexander Lizgate versus Avery Foster, better than PJ. I hope both of these duelists are sporting their new Shining Victories cards, as this is going to be one match someone's going to walk away salty from. You picked up yourself hey. so much. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have much of a choice. Scissors. Oh, he goes away from the real man rock and picks scissors. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna type in the chat. Real man pick scissors now. <laughs> real pi man pick something that you can stab someone with. Yo, he's not even talking shit. He, he's just straight to the point. Good luck. Well, Avery's respectable. He doesn't usually talk trash. He just like he's chatty. That's true. He's very chatty. Yeah. Like, it's I, it's really fun to see him say stuff like, perform about talent. <laughs> Yo, speaking of things that are respectable, uh, Ed Sack Exceptions post on Facebook the other day. Oh, yeah, I saw that. What'd you say? What'd you say? If you're in the... Oh. Yeah, um, turn, it, turn it a little low and then put the top We've on. got a uh, surf a touching low. down top. from a special... Burning, turn burning it, abyss. Like, turn, to seven, turn to seven, put the top on. And Shiv, of all things. Alright. What? Oh, match Ooh. Nice dick. <laughs> nice dick. He said, you play in the Cosmos? Yo, we got... <laughs> and traps. Majesty set two. Is this a Demise deck or just a straight BA deck playing Majesties as an option? Interactions at its finest. <laughs> So, if Wally doesn't have a good... <laughs> oh, <laughs> I see. <laughs> team, I see. Link. Team Brick City's Avery Foster versus Team Zodiac's own base <laughs> Lolly. Uh, when two good players try to out-trump each other. <laughs> High ceiling. I know, right? He's like, ah, Lolly's known for playing Cosmo. Not today. <laughs> this went poorly. Well, Avery's like, he, he keeps getting hit so hard. Oh, man. Poor, poor Avery. He keeps making such good calls based off, like, the people he knows. And then they're like, you thought. <laughs> Gotta steal that Robbie Cole line. You thought. Yeah. Ooh, hand. Oh, I definitely think he, I definitely think he would, would have went for the back room. Well, I mean, he didn't get strike, so do you really uh, care? True. I'm noticing a pattern in my feature. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, is uh, Avery's like I think one for four in features or something? I think Avery needs to start thinking two steps ahead instead of one. Just outplay yourself, Avery. It's fine. You've got game two and three. There won't be any blossoms. I mean... Do you think he stops right here? Do you think he does... You keep going, stuff? going, going, and going, going. No, fucking Lolly's going as far as he can. Let's get it started in here. <laughs> oh. I need to see some rank five action. Punching for twenty eight. You don't you don't get to see that happen all that much until like mid to late game. Yeah, those are those grind games. Block. Wait, do we have two primes? Uh, no, he only has one. Um, he revealed the he revealed the other two off of um, pantheism, and he chose uh, Avery chose domain. Hmm. It's funny if he top deck tour guide. Yeah, but like it doesn't get you very far. It can though. Yeah, those mills. Oh yeah, Dante does do good things. Well, oh, okay, I lied. He, he, he didn't get it. This this feature might be done already. We uh we see a good pick from Avery getting counter picked by Lolly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm noticing. A, I'm noticing a pattern. All monarch players always open with Erebus every single time. I well, I've seen Aether a couple times tonight. Honestly, 
No, he probably he probably just chose a girl. I'm pretty sure he had Erebus in his hand. Either way, it, it's a good call. It is. So, all right, guys, we like to take this time to thank our sponsorinos, Trollandtoad.com. Without them, we wouldn't be friends with the card guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shout out to Troll and Toad for making it worth my while to play these tournaments. To try what do you mean making it worth your time? You keep bubbling. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, I get close. We, we get close. Uh, learning things is the real importance, though. Right, guys? Oh, yeah. It's okay. <laughs> Player right, well, one of these days, I'm gonna I'm gonna win one of these. It right, might be it? May. It might be May. It might be June. Is it is it uh is it in your credential list now that you have to win one of these? Yes. Oh man. Uh, Yo. Like, I have I have like a I have like a checklist of events that I've won, and now the Zodiac tournament is on my new list. Now. Yes. Yo, I will say this like. Granted, a lot of the community like puts a lot of stress on these tournaments, but like these, this is it's something to like have something that's pr kind of prestigious in the community, you know. Mm -hmm. Like it's actually not a joke to win one of these. Like Travis Savage went through two hundred fifty-six men. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, I got excited. Oh, uh, Dante, uh, you're gone. And this game is over. <laughs> He's like, I was just breaking you, man. Sounding like Doctor Doom. <laughs> it's just a prank, right. bro. Scoop City. I don't know. Maybe Avery's got some surprises. Uh, maybe there's not three extra Beatrice in there. <laughs> so your extra deck is now down to what? Eight cards. <laughs> Pretty much. Can't believe they made Ghost Blossom a card. Yeah, like... maybe there's not a Pilgrim in there. I mean, maybe. Like, he gets to see the extra deck for that? Yeah, I'm he does. Sure. Yeah, it I'm says, sure. look at your opponent's extra deck. Alright. Yeah, it's, it says, that you can discard this card, reveal one card from your extra deck, then look at your opponent's extra deck, and if any cards in its name was revealed, banish that cards or cards. Oh, so apparently, I guess Avery's playing Dark oh. Claw, since he's oh, no, in no. last change. Oh, I see. I see. Had not donated I was thinking in a while, I was thinking so Avery. why not make it happen tonight during no. the ninth feature oh, match see, see, see. of the that's, day? That's also, hope you get your internet yeah, back that's, soon, John. That's a lot of information. Shoutouts to um, Swizz Life for donating and not letting St. Maddox be one of the only names run around in the donation <laughs> bar. <laughs> so now this, this is what I've been wanting to see. I want to see how BA actually play out of first turn uh, Blossom Bitch. I don't think you do. I think you would have to be playing like two Beatrice, no Pilgrim, and have a lot of other options. That's, how... That's a That's really how... powerful turn one here. Uh, Majesty's attack! Game. Just leaves the break sword because the, the three is probably more of a threat. True. Sadly, Lolly doesn't look like he opened up the most optimally here. Reaper Majesty's is kind of optimal. Like, there's, you're not going to be getting, like, at setting one, setting one, setting one, you're not dealing with his Majesty's for a long time unless you play the Kaiju engine. True. And then setting these back row isn't helping either. Wow, he's going to continue to set and give Vent Majesty more food. You have to. Like, what can you do? You can't even, like, special your BAs, right? Mm mm. Like, and there's two back rows anyway. Oh, Ooh. you were saying you thought. <laughs> wow, he's playing He's playing the destruction, Mirror Force. He said, he's fight me, mate. <laughs> 1,200 <laughs> each. Oh, man, that was that was good. Now if there's not any real follow-up, like, Lolly's in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, Blair, you're I, getting your wish. I know, right? Now if he has a Majesty Swing back, like, oh my gosh, it's a pass. Hey, There's no Prime, right? Four. No. Dun, 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 dun. Can he do it? Can he do it? I don't know. Let's find out. I'm pretty sure if he's playing Blaze and I'm... Turn off the horn? Yes. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure he's um, 
playing other mirror forces, but I'm pretty sure he's playing Drowning. Maybe. Ripplin. Avery's playing like a super anti meta deck here. Ra Avery brings the fire. <laughs> You're saying that because he's just blazing mirror force. Yeah. <laughs> and this makes me not want to play Cosmos. If people are gonna, like, be like, oh yeah, Fiends, let's go. Yeah, like, if he was playing against Cosmo, Blazing Mirror Force is really strong with Majesties. Like, it counters the Call of the Haunteds, kind of. Uh-huh. Attack for 2,000 pass. That's not a good sign. Yeah, I mean, he could have put a lot more fire on that board. I mean, he, he with one card in hand and the other monster probably being Burning Abyss. Oh, no. Do we have another Majesty Fiend? It doesn't matter. This thing's big enough to crash or attack the face down and make a Burning Abyss in cons inconsequential. Oh, you said me too. Uh -oh. Dude. Yeah. And it's uh -oh. Libic. Ooh, and mm. Fafa. That's interesting that he chose to special the Farfa here. Uh, I think he's just getting another body, just in case he, top, he gets another non BA monster. Like well, it makes Vanity's Fiend not hurt so bad. True. That's a turn two, but most people don't go with Vanity's. Very few. Uh, Majesty's would still be really good here. Depends on these back rows. Like, what are these back rows? And there's a tribute True. summon. Kuraz, what are you off to do here? Pop the break. And the, and the Farfa, really? Yeah, he's just trying to clear monsters. But he gives him two draws. If he gets to that much-needed tour guide, or, like, some other form... I don't know. We'll have to see. I mean, he's not in a good position. Well, four back rows seems just fine with the way he's playing. And drag down... Oh! What the fuck? Yo, this man is teching out. You said you wanted to see a build that could live Blossom? Well, here you go. <laughs> wow. Oh, Avery coming back from the brink right now. <laughs> Sir gets Skarm. He got rid of an Aether, too. That was huge. Like, that just stopped Lolly. I'm surprised Lolly didn't chain Aether. I don't think he has a Monarch spell trap card. Oh yeah! Oh my gosh! He's on Brick City. <laughs> Ironically, shoutouts to Avery, who's on Team Brick City. Ooh. I don't think is this really going through. Uh, through four back row. Well, you see, if this resolves, he's on. Uh, hmm, I think. All right. All right. Oh man, Avery Foster, Team Brick City's own, facing down Team Zodiac Duelist, Base Lollies, Aether Effect, four back rows. <laughs> Which one's gonna flip up? Activate I Crush like, Card. <laughs> I feel like he's taking too much time or effort here for this to be a strike, you know? Yeah, it's definitely not a strike. There's there's no absolutely no reason not to strike if you have strike. True. There's no reason not to warning if you have warning. There's no reason not to chaos travel if you got chaos travel. Like the what? one game one here, <laughs> Lolly uh, in like a matter of seconds. What could you do here? What what chainable is so bad that you have to think this hard? Ring of destruction. <laughs> you may be right, actually. I mean, he is. Oh. Ooh. So what does that do? Uh, kills the pantheism and the uh, what's it called? The prime. Ah, okay. That's interesting. But can't he just special summon Karaz and pop it? He can. Maybe he's trying to draw the Karaz to the Iron Wall and protect other back rows that could be more important. In game imposing. That like, is true. Like maybe there's a blazing mirror force down here that could punch a lot of damage in. So yeah, basically by flipping the wall, he's like, "Hey, check this out." Which one did you just set? 
What would be the far right one? The right? far left and right. One closest to that, okay. I agree with the, the the humbling Blair in the background, huh? I almost feel like he would pop Karaz himself here, since it's not going to attack anyways, but... Oh, there goes a storming, so... Yeah, I, I felt like perhaps popping Karaz himself would have been a little better. Well, I mean, now we got to start unbricking this house of bricks. Like, we got to start building a second story to this house. Well, what ra well our qu other question is, what, what does... Avery, what surprises are left that perhaps in his extra deck? Well, he, he, he said Mad Chain, so there's definitely a dark line there. There's one. That's about it. Yeah. But he plays Iron Wall with it, and that's kind of weird. That is weird. I guess the, the theory would be, like, you can activate it whenever you want. Well, I'm pretty sure you took it out. Well, yeah. You probably, you probably, probably took it out. That's a really odd choice is by Lolly. What is it? It's Domain, Pantheas, or Domain, uh, Stormforth, and what? Prime? And the Trap, yeah. I think you're Probably good. fine with giving him Domain this turn. Yeah. Because he's already tributed. Right? Yeah. We've already got an Aether on the board, so... It's interesting that he chose that. All right, he would have wanted a free pitch. Well, once again, we were attempting to unbrick this hand. Yeah. Which, considering we're what six for more cards further into the deck than we were at the beginning of the turn, things got to start looking a little bit better. Still hasn't been a battle phase. Now, do you bother to attack into these back row after seeing all these mirror force cards? I don't. I don't know. I think, I think like, at this point you got you have to power through unless he's playing twin twister or something. Like you, he has to just power through the um, the back row. Yeah, he, just if he wants to win this. And storming mirror force doesn't do anything to you except give you back your Aether and your Karaz, which is no big deal. The burning would hurt. No burning would. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, do you just take your time and eventually try to Erebus this man? Or do you really try to keep pushing here? Because, like, you're the only way you lose is if you get Blazing Tear and then Avery makes a play and is able to stuff the, uh, the, um, the Prime. Nightmare, sh Nightmare Shark or Asgol. That, too, yeah. Like, if he has Blazing Nightmare Shark, that's game. Well, the other thing is, Lolly knows what is in his extra, so he can play a And two Kuraz has been used, right? Correct. Yes. So... Like, he may not play the third, most people don't. And, yeah, he just goes to the end phase, opting not to, like, try to lose to so Blazing. He's loading up Prime. Yeah, you don't want to just lose to Nightmare Shark. That would have been a position to do so. All of the scouting... So, Avery making a deck that, despite Blossom, can fight back. What's it doing its best? We have more back row. Yeah. Welcome to the jungle. Ooh, Ooh that's a good one. We might be going to a young game three. Oh. Chain Aether? Uh, you oh, have nope. to. Nope, viewing opponent's hand already. Farfa, Skarm. Check it out. The, the hand's that bad that he got rid of Kuraz. Wow. I think he wanted to go take care of uh, Aether if he had it. So now this Farfa can force something. Well, you're probably pitching the Skarm and saving the Farfa. And depending. Nightmare Shark, jeez. Does he play double? Yeah, but even so, that's not even enough. Like, you need a Barbar to... Well, the Skarm's going to be able to search something. Finally get to the turn here.
Yeah, Torgai could get him in the bar bar and bar bar would kill him. If he plays the second nightmare shark. Ooh, he's far from me now. Pew pew pew. So he's Yeah, he he has to play two nightmares. I'm I'm surprised he didn't de detach Skarm here. Token's back. I'm right? Sure he... Does it come back? Does Token come back? Yeah, or does... The trap? Trap comes back, right? Um, I think with, with what it is, um, when it comes back, it comes back as a trap, and then it goes straight to the graveyard. Oh, okay. I've never heard seen that interaction, oddly enough. Is it? It's a really weird interaction. Yeah, I meant monster, not token. Okay, goes to graveyard. Alright. Tenacity or tenacity or tenacity. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> 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 I bet you feel silly. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. The trolls. Shows a metaphys. So that's indicating <laughs> he's playing the brilliant the brilliant version. Yeah. Shout out the metaphys armed dragon. The good dark armed dragon. I feel like uh, you still lose to like tour guide Barbar. Yep. Wait, can't he? Uh, can he like attack, trigger, and then tribute for Erebus? Erebus, remove this card. Isn't that how that works? Do what? Can't he attack with uh, his current monarch? Yeah, he and, can. And then... Go ahead, tribute for Erebus, and remove the Skarm from the grave. So, so the... Con what so just the happened here? Did Maxi chain and Prime chain to Maxi? Yeah. Okay. Or, oh, Maxi just chained to Prime. There was no Aether effect? Oh, this is the same Aether. Okay. Yeah. So there's one free draw. Once again, though, we can Erebus here, remove... Nope. Oh, never mind. The hand... Remember, he dragged him down. Like, he would have had to draw into it. That is true. I think you have to get Aether here if you play the third Kuraz. Yep. So we might be looking at a third Kuraz here. Well, you have to remember, he can make a rank 8 here. Mmm. Hepa, pop, 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 two back row. Shout out to Blazing Mirror Force. Being fucking retarded. No, you cannot special summon monsters from your extra deck as returns effect. Oh. Uh, I didn't even realize that thing had that stipulation. I'm always so used to seeing return with the... Uh... Yeah, safe man. Ooh, that's really odd that he's going to press perhaps into a blazing with 28. Well, I mean... Uh, it does have. And there is blazing. Yeah, but if he had double... Or if he would have killed both there, it would have been game. Yeah, yeah but what I mean, I'm saying is it's weird that he's even pressing instead of waiting to deal with it later. Because, like, I mean, you, you're only losing by attacking into it, like... Uh, it's the only yeah. way to lose is to attack. Like, if you just chill, you're fine, I think. Unless he doesn't have an answer to this tour guide, which he loses anyway. Right. Yeah, I think this is over. Nightmare Shark. There's an Aether loaded, so we don't know yet. 
And he could have done that because then he only has to deal with one back row depending on the draw. And he can Erebus it away and start going. Uh, so maybe that's why he forced the one. But this is still, like, so... Ah, it hurts. And, and he has to play the other Nightmare Shark like we're saying. And uh, I, don't, I don't know if he had room for that. I don't know many people that play Double Nightmare Shark. And Lolly perhaps not being scared of the play is showing that he doesn't. What do you get? What do you get? Sir? He could already have the uh, other in his hand. Or has he already used it somehow? He I haven't seen the tour guy yet. Yeah, I don't think so either. He's still viewing that. And draws for turn. Sticking to the sir here. <laughs> Monarchs can't beat no Dante BA. <laughs> it, we may see a game three here very well. Like, we don't have the bar bar loaded yet. We have a back row, which may be a discard back row to, based on that that play. This is where he flips drag down. It's like psych bitch. He's saying, hmm. Hmm's usually good, not bad, but we the Avery is the opposite, man. Uh, hit, hit us with a third drag down, please. Hit us with that third Kuras from Wally. This could be Matt Strange's second, but he has. Ooh, that's a very good point. So, like, if uh, if he chains it to Aether, then, like, he can't send anymore. But then, like, he has to have a loaded something. Oh, because it's in defense. Okay, so he, could, he gets to force the activation. And he could chain here if he had it. He doesn't have it. Okay. All right, mode change. Oh, also, just a note. <laughs> With that arm dragon last turn, if Avery actually played Ring of Destruction, it would have been one of the few situations ring for game. Because <laughs> he was at 28. Less than or equal to. <laughs> I have not seen Ring for Game even since Ring has been back. Do you know what? Do you know, do you know what Monarchy searched? Aether. Okay. Or, I mean, Erebus, my bad. Okay, so he searched Erebus and special Erebus. <laughs> Mass change two into Anki attack directly for game. <laughs> game exact. Oh. Maybe, maybe we'll finally see fucking a rank five over here. Yo, this storm. What storm? It's raining here badly. Uh oh. Here comes see it. Let me see it. Yo, gotta get rid of one of two back rows, and then... Then what happens? If you're telling me Dante gone on turn one, and this BA pulls it out thanks to mirror forces... Avery's the man. Um, Polites is pretty fucking good here, I heard. Return. Oh, I, God. Return's so trash. Gets rid of the seer? Yep, he's going in. What? Here he doesn't go. have the third one, <laughs> Lolly exclaims. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Is this the end of the game? I need it to be. I gotta be out of here. Oh, I, I think he plays in Mayo. He needs to get rid of the return to Xyz. Yeah. Oh, you're right. I feel like you give him prime here. Didn't he already tenacity this turn? Oh, did no. he? I don't think he did. Oh, he hasn't. Probably at this point he starts putting um, spells back in the deck. 
Yeah, you want to start compressing? Mm -hmm. Most of and or tracks. But you have to remember, this could be over in the blink of an eye. Mind crush or something silly? <laughs> With all these drag downs, I wouldn't doubt it. That would be sick, actually. Mind Crush would be really good against Scyther. Dang. Uh, Dang. chain. <laughs> Lolly did not attack. He knows that he's got. He has another Aether, so he has chances to deal with things. That's chain. interesting. Is this scoot face? Oh! Because he's top Ooh. Wow. Punch in a young 1200? <laughs> oh, if it was anything bigger. If he wow. still had to attack him, Tom Borg. It was game. We still got red layers from Wally, right? Yeah. Yep. But then it's the fear of the back rows. Well, he can distribute some. 200 damage, the clock is on. Oh my goodness, oh my gracious. Special red layer. I mean, even though he just drew two, remember, we've been seeing drag downs. Like, Avery's known the hands. Like, he would have. Oh, oh, there. It. There it is. Is. What was it? What was it? Blazing. Oh, who is the third? And this game is over. But fighting back from the brink, though, you gotta give some respect to this. I do, actually, I do. Perhaps showing the way that BA needs to go to deal against that card. And none of this is bad. It's bad against the mirror match, of course. But I just figure you side out of it. No, well, actually, I don't, I don't think it's pretty bad in the mirror match. I think because they try to go for it. I see in this mirror match, they try to go. Who the fuck did he get Majesty back? Um, what's we call it? Erebus. Oh. Yeah, he wants to ensure no, uh, no barbar. Well, he's probably gonna kill him this turn. I hear the thunder from your place, Jeesh. Well, I mean, if you give him, yeah, the tenacity searches for the Stormforth. Can he really not kill him? No, he's he's gonna slam the majesty. Oh, uh, so he's gonna have majesty and a uh, red layer going in for attacks. Uh, yep, Stormforth, summon majesty, poke him in the face for forty four hundred. Is there any kind of top deck? A mirror force guy? No, there's still an Erebus, right? And he can distribute majesties. Yeah. There's no trap hole that does damage or anything on someone that does damage. Your final card. My grandpa's deck has no pathetic cards. He already used his regeki. Kaiju slumber would be game. <laughs> but nope. Wow. It's the one of the graph. When do you not want to see it now? Good games, Avery, fighting back from the brink, but still. Zodiac, Duel of Soul, and Base Ollie taking it over. Brick Cities. Awesome. That was that was that was pretty good.